हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अजीत अग्रवाल एंड इन दिस क्लास ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आई विल डिस्कस यू आर टॉपिक इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर बोथ क्लास नाइन्थ एंड इलेवेंथ एंड दिस इज अ न्यूमेरिकल टॉपिक ऑफ केमिस्ट्री इट इज गैस लॉस फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज गैस लॉस गैस लॉस आर सर्टेन रूल्स विच अ गैस फॉलोज वेन सब्जेक्टेड टू अ चेंज इन टेम्परेचर प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम You all have to know that temperature, pressure, and volume are three parameters of gas. Three parameters of a gas means to express gas, you will have to need these three terms: temperature T, pressure P, and volume V. And uh, we are, first we will discuss uh, in what units you can be given. In the numerical problem, here small t. This, if t is given in Celsius, then you will express this in small t, and in Kelvin temperature, you will measure it in. Uh, you will express in capital T. And uh, uh, while doing the numerical problem, you have to use Kelvin unit or SI unit of temperature. If t be the temperature in degree Celsius, then it can be converted to Kelvin. How can you convert this into Kelvin by adding two seventy three? Okay, by adding two seventy three degrees Celsius, you can change temperature into Kelvin. Similarly, units of pressure and volume are given. Pressure is mainly expressed in terms of a column of length of column of mercury, like centimeter mercury, millimeter mercury, or atmosphere. What is relation between these units? One atmosphere is equals to seventy six centimeter of mercury, or seven sixty millimeter of mercury. Why you have chosen the length unit of length of uh, mercury column? It uh, it uh, has been studied in uh, uh, chapter uh, pressure in class ninth physics. Okay, that uh, why you use uh, this length of uh, mercury column as a basic unit. Because uh, the pressure due to liquid column is uh, P equals to h rho g, while rho and g are constant term. Therefore, you can measure the pressure in terms of length of mercury column. It is known to you. Next, volume expressed in liter, centimeter cube, millimeter cube. In which centimeter cube is also expressed in milliliter. One liter equals to thousand ml or thousand cc. And if you have to change liter to meter cube, then you have to divide the given quantity in liter by thousand. Then you will get the result in meter cube. Besides this, uh, sometimes a unit decimeter cube is given. No problem. One liter is equal to one decimeter cube. Now we will discuss first law. As I told you that uh, there are three parameters of a gas: temperature, pressure, and volume. If you keep one of the term constant, then you can find relation between other two. Like in Boyle's law, in this temperature is given constant, and the relation is found to be that volume of given mass of dry gas is inversely proportional to pressure of the gas. More the pressure of the gas, lesser is the volume. It is known to you that uh, if uh, suppose uh, uh, there is a cylinder having gas. Above it, there is a piston, a movable frictionless piston. Gas is enclosed in it. What happens if you increase the pressure over it? Suppose you put the weight, some weight over the piston, then you can see the piston will move down, and volume of the gas will get decreased. It means, according to Boyle's law, what was the statement? Always statement will be written word to word, as per the law or given by the scientist. It is states always start with comma and then with a comma. At constant temperature, temperature, the volume of given mass of dry gas is inversely proportional to pressure of the gas. V inversely proportional to pressure P. That is, V inversely proportional to P or V equals constant K upon P. Always remember when you replace uh, uh, proportionality sign by equal to, then you will put a constant mark, or you can write it as P V equals to K. It means the product of such type of results, pressure multiplied by volume, is always constant. Or P one V one equal to P two V two. This will you will apply in the numerical problems. 
Now graphical representation of Boyle's law. If you plot the graph between volume of the gas and its pressure, you can see that if you increase the pressure, volume decreases continuously, but in a curved path. Now we will do a numerical problem based on Boyle's law. Always uh, check that uh, uh, which is constant given in this type of question. A temperature constant or pressure constant. If temperature constant then you will apply Boyle's law. If pressure constant you will apply Charles law. If none is constant you will apply ideal gas equation. In this question a certain mass of chlorine gas occupies 750 centimeter cube at certain pressure. When pressure was changed to 2.5 atmosphere, it occupied 1500 centimeter cube volume. What was the initial pressure and temperature is constant. Here temperature constant given, it means it will obey Paul's law. Uh, it is our uh, 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 same strategy we will follow that uh, first we will write down the data given in symbolic form. Suppose initial pressure given is 750 centimeter cube, you will take V1 is 750 centimeter cube. In the question, you have to calculate initial pressure, means P1 is question mark. In the second statement, pressure was changed to 2.5 atm. This is uh, final pressure and occupied volume 1500 cm3. So, first you will frame data and it is given the temperature constant. Therefore, it will, you will use Boyle's law. According to Boyle's law, simply P1 V1 equal to P2V2. Put all these values and you will get the result 5 atmosphere pressure understood this type of question you can do easily by your textbook and if you have any problem you can ask me in the comment box now we will do one more law that is charles law charles law it states that in this uh, law the pressure is uh, constant pressure will be constant at constant pressure the volume of given mass of dry gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature. Absolute temperature is a temperature measured in Kelvin only. And beside this, uh, it uh, should be noted down that uh, I am giving you given mass of dry gas, means there should be no moisture content. Only dry gas you will consider. If um, uh, pressure of the moisture is given, then you will have to subtract the uh, pressure due to moisture and uh, from the uh, total pressure. Okay. That is volume is directly proportional to absolute temperature of V proportional T of V equals to KT. Again you will put constant of V upon T is constant. It means the all the ratio like this will be constant. So for V1 upon T1 equal to V2 upon T2. On this basis we will do a numerical problem. Here what is numerical given? 450 ml of oxygen gas is allowed to collect it at 27 degrees Celsius. In first statement, the data is complete. Initial volume and initial temperature is given. Note down in symbolic form, V1 is 450 ml, T1 is 27 degrees Celsius. As I have told you that convert Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273. The result will be 300 Kelvin. If for a particular use the volume has to reduce to one third original volume, here it should be noted that volume has to reduce to, two terms are given, reduce to or reduce by. If reduce to is given, then the data given will be the final volume. And if reduce by is given, then you will subtract this value from original value. Understood? Here reduce 2 is given, then this will be the final volume, means V2 will be one third of 450, that is 150 ml. If reduce by, uh, reduce by was given, then you will use V2 equals to 450 minus 150, okay. So it should be, it is the most important point, whether reduce 2 is given or reduce by is given. Then you have to calculate temperature to which gas has to be cooled at pressure constant. Simply you will apply Charles law because pressure is constant. You will apply formula V1 upon T1 equal to V2 upon T2. Put these values and you will get the result 100 Kelvin. But you will also have to write its answer in Celsius. Then you will subtract Kelvin temperature minus 273 degree. You will get the final result. Okay. Such type of numerical you can do very easily. 
and in the next video i will discuss you about idle gas equation keep watching my channel tsm classes by ajit agarwal thank you